Hey there everyone, this is Chris from Blast Process back with Warhammer Total War or Total War Warhammer or whatever. Uh, so I've spent a little bit of time since the last episode and I've played a few turns without recording. Uh, mainly because nothing happened. Um, we are, and two things are about to happen at once, so I decided to uh, start recording again. First thing that's going to happen is this guy is about to reach Karak Norn. Which is important because I have a mission to deliver a character to Karak Norn. Uh, and that's for my uh, armor of Glimral Stales, there it is. Move any character to the following region, it'll give me a bunch of money and it'll unlock the next part of the mission. Uh, I've also about to take Karak Eight Peaks with my two armies, they're both in position. Um, and that will, not only will it give me a very, very important place, it's going to be an interesting battle because there's a lot of guys in there. But it'll also let me recruit, if I find it right, this guy. No, this guy. Oh no. Oh, it's Carrick Cadrin. I thought it was Carrick Eight Peaks. Uh, okay. Oh, never mind. It won't let me unlock him. So where's Carrick Cadrin then? I don't even know where that place is. Is it somewhere? Oh, I've got a alliance with these guys as well. Which is why I've now unlocked a lot of their map. Don't know where Carrot Cadrin is. I'll have to have a search for that in a minute. Oh well, I should have uh, checked that before I opened my big mouth. Right, never mind. Uh, but this is still going to be a big battle, so we we can do this now. So it's that guy. So I've built two two siege towers, or oh, with four siege towers, it's two times two. And I got my two armies. He's got this much. Uh, I actually, when I first went into the siege, we're just using this guy. Uh, it was actually even, which meant I would have uh, have took a chance by doing auto resolve. But that's fine. So we're going to fight this battle. Okay, so uh, let's have a look. I think that's pretty much what we want. So we group them. Uh, oh, we've got a, an angled attack this time. Let's just, honestly, I think we're just going to go for it. We've got these guys and these guys. Who are just going to sit at the back and pelt the enemy. Uh, and then we've got these guys are going to follow up for when the, the gate gets smashed. We'll keep him in the centre. Let's group, if that will just... Yeah, close enough. Okay. So then you lot... You go like that. Oh, here we go. Oh, my, my army's appearing very quickly. Let me grab the characters. Um, I can't tell what these all are. They're all warriors. Be on my reserves. Should have gyrocopters coming in any minute now. There they are. You head over there for now. Right, so let's get this gatehouse. Satisfy 
Okay, so it's been damaged, that's good. So while the enemy focused around... Okay, the enemy are pretty focused around the battlement area, so that's good. Right, let's see what we can do. Just go straight in. Just start these guys going up. No, no, attacking actually. Oh, why have these not? What happened? Oh, did they destroy it? Oh, it's to be destroyed. Okay, the gate's down. Just send all my hair worry. My characters in. And these guys as well, these guys are awesome. Right, let's try and get a bomb. Come on, goblins are going down. <laughs> They'll kill half a unit. Alright, let's go back. Let's get the uh, archers. Come on, get nice and tight. And... Bomb. Oh, it didn't get very good there, actually. Right, you stay there for now. Let's have a look how we're doing. Breaking them. Thing he's got potion of speed. Oh well, the battle's uh, going to be pretty quick. Not very good shots, them goblins. Why are you not firing? There we go. Oh, that was terrible. That was awful. How are we doing on the walls? I think we've won here. Bring the crossbowmen in. I think they're just going to flee. That's fine. Flaming axes. <laughs> and the goblins have been completely destroyed. Look at the blood on me. And that was that was the goblins gone. <laughs> now we need to get guys into here and then we win. 
<laughs> He's hacking away. Leave him to that. Victory. Done. I probably could have done that with one army, to be honest. Um, black powder pounder, I don't know what that is. Um, but I really did not want to take many losses. Yeah, so, I mean, they outnumbered me. But whatever. I didn't want to take many losses because it means I can quickly move on and immediately take the next province. But I was also a bit worried about getting held up, getting past the wall. Also, by the time i have uh, recording this, they have just announced the next add-on pack for this game, which is Wood Elves. And they've shown picture. Um, Occupy. I don't think I... Oh, got long. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, so I don't think I have the area unlocked yet, but if you come over all the way over here on the map... Uh, is it that? There's a, is it? No, I can't see. It's somewhere around here. There's an area around here in the Bretonia lands uh, where there's a large forest. And the forest is basically, it's a huge section where you can't actually enter in the map. I think it might be that. Is it that? Brio? No. It's somewhere around here. There's an area of forest you can't go into. That might be it. Unknown territory, yeah. And uh, basically this is going to be the Wood Elf starting area. And, oh, in fact, it's right near where I am. Uh, so that's pretty cool. They've showed a few units they've... Uh, for them so far, including a treatment and a dryad, I think. Um, anyway, we going to. So he's unlocked. He's leveled up. We are going to give him Ooh, plus leadership. Do we want to do that? We've been giving him stuff like this. Damping. Uh, and then the White Dwarf has also leveled up. He is now level 10. Oh yeah, so we've unlocked the quest, but we've not actually started it yet. We are going to give him... Faction-wide experience. So he can now move. So he's going to start... Oh, there is a big army there, actually. He's going to start heading over there to get that guy. And then here, we're going to build... Let's get the Siege Workshop and... So what's that? Well, they've got, they've got Pastures, which is unique. Which is Goat Pastures. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to end the turn, and then hopefully this guy will be able to move next turn to complete the quest. And then I'm going to call it a day, assuming I don't get attacked by those guys back over there. Got, oh, yeah, completed quest successful. Next quest. Using Gombrildil, the White Dwarf's army, defeat two armies or garrisons belonging to the following race. Greenskins. Easy. Right the wrong. The wrong is put right, the wrong put right. They're the same choice. right the wrong yeah I don't know uh, so this guy is now done I can bring him back now so we'll bring him uh, where are we going to bring him back to let's bring him back here it's going to take him about a year to get back but that's fine we can actually recruit slayers they are expensive That guy's now, he's now up to full. We can't get him in, that's kind of annoying. Because if we attack him there, he's in the siege. What's that, Kazuk Azal? And I'll actually get all these guys with me as allies. Um, but that will be next episode. Right now, we're going to win it here. All sorts of things we can do. Start spending my bump, and there's all my money gone. Yep, so I'm going to end the episode here, and uh, we will. I need to find out where that guy is. What's his name? Legendary Lord. 
Karak Kadrin. I need to find where that is. I wish there was like a way of just searching for it. I bet it's down here somewhere. Because the map does go. Oh no, the map doesn't go that much further. What's that? Did that say what that was then? Uh, I don't know where Karak Hadrin is. I'll do a search for it and then I'll figure out how to get hold of it. Right, so anyway, I'm going to the episode here. I shall see you next time. Goodbye.